Pretty much every diehard horror fan knows of John Carpenter. He is a goddamn legend in the horror industry. He has created some of the greatest films of all time, not just horror, like Starman, Assault on Precinct 13, They Live, and Escape from New York. He is most known for Halloween, even the average Joe knows this, but his greatest work is the cult classic, The Thing. While it is in high praise nowadays, it was definitely one of the most hated films of 1982. Even knowing this beforehand, just reading about how despicable people were towards the film is absolutely astonishing, especially to a huge fan like myself. However, thanks to age, it won the hearts of many horror fans and has become one of the best remakes of all time, being a remake of Howard Hawks' The Thing from Another World. <laughs> Carpenter heavily admired the original and even used clips from it in Halloween. When making his own version, he really wanted to make it his own and decided to more so adapt the original novella, Who Goes There, by John W. Campbell, which the original used little material from. This is also the first in the unofficial Carpenter Apocalypse trilogy, where in which the other two films I will be covering later on. Now, the thing is about a group of people who come into contact with an alien from another world in the Antarctic. When the, but when the alien comes into contact with another living being, it replicates down to the cell, becoming such a perfect copy of itself that it even doesn't know it's the thing. It is then up to this team to try and kill it before it goes into the outside world somehow. Everything about this movie is pitch perfect. The performances, the cinematography, the plot, the setting, the music, despite being nominated for a Razzie, the overall sense of dread, and the thing that everyone talks about is the amazing effects. But I'm not going to spoil them for you here if you haven't seen it, because it got ruined for me and I didn't fully appreciate the film until later on. A lot of people think that this is specifically an effects movie and nothing else, but it is so much more than that. The actual plot and horror of the film actually lives up and is even better than the effects. This is... There is this overall dark tone that is laid over the film with simplistic scenes with little to no music and just letting this fear, fear build. Plus, there are some good one-liners set in the film, but don't detract from the horror and darkness the film is trying to convey. It is all about the suspense and build-up to who is revealed to being the thing. Then, when the thing is attacking, it is nearly downright disturbing. It really is Carpenter's magnum opus, as he truly put his all into it, and while it didn't receive the positive, review, positive reviews it deserved back in 1982, the fact that it got them later on is worth it, and I hope Carpenter is happy with what happened. Give it a watch, you'll be in for a treat.